Hello, this is another video from teachingbyvideos.com. In this video, we'll be exploring pi. This symbol appears on scientific calculators, and if you're to click that button, that symbol, up pops a value of 3.14. We're doing this to two decimal places. As you can see, it's got a long string of other numbers there, but we're just going to um, work on the first three digits uh, to two decimal places. So it's 3.14, and it's pre-programmed into your calculator. So we're going to explore where that comes from. Okay, so let's just move this away for a moment. Okay, well, when you come across this symbol, this symbol is related to circles. So when you think think of pi or see pi, you think of a round pi, <laughs> and then you'll know that pi has got something to do with circles. That's just something to help you remember. Okay, so what is it? Well, pi is a relationship figure. You could say it's a relationship of the circumference of a circle to its diameter and the relationship is in terms of size so for example we know that that figure is 3.14 so let's look at this relationship if I take the circumference of a circle and then I take the diameter of it and I was to lay the diameter on top of the circumference going right around you will find that I'll be able to get three diameters out of it and there'll be a little bit left over 0.14 so let's just kind of show that in uh, as we were showing it on the video here so I've got the diameter what I've did is I've divided it into seven sections this little diameter and then I divided the circumference into 21 sections or 22 sections okay and it just so happens that each of these sections has a value of 9.7 so if I measure this little piece I get 9.7 if I measure this little piece I get 9.7 so you say well why is that we'll explore that also um, why did it divide it into 22 and why did it divide it into 7? Well, that's where our fraction comes in. I've got 22 pieces around the outside and 7 across the diameter. And you'll find that this is the same for every circle. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, starting from this point, if I count 7 going around 1, <laughs> two three four five six seven I get one diameter's length going around this, the circumference if I count another seven one two three four five six seven I get two and I count another seven I get three so there's my that's where my three value comes from but now I've got a little piece left over and we'll find that that one p that little piece left over is one seventh of the diameter so here we've got seven sevenths but one of those equals one of those so we've got this little bit left over so now we know where the three comes from it's three diameters and the point one four is that little little piece left over so any circle you get the diameter will always divide it into three times and there'll be one seventh of the diameter left over. Okay, just let's see where this point one four comes from using the calculator. If I have a diameter of one and I divide it by seven, I get point one four. So that's where the point one four comes in in if I have a diameter of say 50 and I divide it by 7 I get the point 0.14 still 
I hope that that explains where this little point one four comes from. Okay, this I'm just trying to say it as many ways as possible so you can uh, grasp the relationship. So let's say it in word terms. Okay, we have the circumference of a circle, and we now know that that is big. That is three point one four times bigger than the diameter. That's one way of saying it. Another way of saying it is any circumference of a circle is always 3.14 times the diameter and that gives you the circumference so that's the relationship so we'll say it again just so you can grasp it you take any diameter of a circle and if you multiply it by 3.14 it will give you the length of the circumference of the circle if you take any circumference of a circle and you divide it by 3.14 3.14 you will get the length of the diameter okay so let's do some examples I'll grab a couple of circles I don't there's a circle let's measure it um, the diameter of a circle is 82 okay so we now know that if I multiply that diameter by 3.14 which is the term pi we will be able to find out that the length of this circumference of this circle okay so let's get a calculator and try this 82 times 3.14 okay I'm not going to type that in I'm going to use the pre-programmed value 3.14 which is pi and now I press equals and that will tell me the circumference of this circle here so it says 20, uh, 257 so it's about 258 if we round it up okay so let's look at this I've got a little entity info so if I select this it will show me the length of that which is exactly what our calculator says just have a quick look at the calculator there you go two five seven so it is correct okay so let's do it in reverse I'm going to get a new circle and we're going to measure that uh, th we know the circumference this time so let's look at the information oh there's the circumference there 289 let's copy that we know then that the diameter is going to be 3.14 times smaller 3.14 another term for that is pi okay so let's get a calculator type in 289 we divided by 3.14 or use the pre-programmed button 3.14 equals and we get 91 or 92 basically if we round it up so let's check is that correct so I'm going to measure our diameter there we go 92 well there you have it that's pi explained uh, I hope you enjoyed the video please share the video with your school friends post them a, a link by email or put it on Twitter or Facebook if this has helped you um, please share it and pass it around please like the video and come visit our website at teachingbyvideos.com and you'll see some more new videos there soon. Thank you.